There are different kinds of settings within the TI Inspire and TI Inspire CAS apps, but they're all accessed using the same gear icon in different screens. Here on the home screen, I'll tap the gear icon in the upper left corner to open the settings for the entire app. These settings will show me the current version and other information about the app, a guided tour and online help, individual preferences, and allow me to log in to my Dropbox account to sync TI Inspire files. When you're done with these settings, tap the Done button in the upper right corner. Now I'll tap a document thumbnail to open the document and navigate to a calculator page. With the TI Inspire keyboard open, I'll type sign of 90 and press enter. Because it's set to radians, the answer is irrational. I'll tap the gear icon again, but this time, because I'm within a document, I'll get the settings for this particular document. As you can see, the angle is set to radian, but I'll tap that setting and change it to degree. Then I'll tap the back button in the upper left corner. If I tap the done button in the upper right corner, this will change the settings just within this document. All other documents will remain at the default settings. Down at the bottom, though, there's a Make Default button, which will make whatever settings I have here the default setting for all new documents from this point on. The Restore button will restore the original default settings. I just want to change this document, so I'll tap Done. Now I'll tap to open the keyboard, if it's not already open, and tap the up arrow key just above the keyboard on the right side, until Sign of 90 is selected. I'll choose Paste History, and then Enter, to show that the sign of 90 degrees is 1. Now I'll switch back over to a Graphs page by tapping the thumbnail on the page sorter. In the blue bar just above the graph, there's a gear icon above two axes. Tapping this will open settings specific to graphs and geometry. Here you can see how angles are interpreted in both the graphs and geometry applications, as well as the float setting, plot labels, axis end values, and whether or not to automatically find points of interest. I'll turn off the axis end values by tapping the yes-no switch to move it over to no, and I want this to happen not only in this document, but all future documents, so I'll tap make default. To make sure, I'll see a dialog box appear, so I'll tap OK to confirm, and will be returned to the graph. I can see that the values at the ends of the axes have disappeared, and this will be the case for all future graphs and geometry applications. If you've set a new default, but you want to restore the originals for all documents going forward, tap a Settings button, and tap the Restore button, then tap OK, then Make Default, and OK again.